top 10 mood boosters according to me, Jen Slay. So your mood determines so much. It determines how you're going to, how your day is gonna be. And oftentimes people say, oh, I can't control myself. You can't. So you are in charge of your mood. You are in charge of how you relate to people and how you manage people and all of that type of stuff. So here are my top 10 mood boosters. One, breathe. You know, sometimes when we get anxious or when we get nervous, we start breathing really fast, really shallow, and we, we get scared. But what happens is our brain then doesn't get as much oxygen as it needs and we can't think clearly. But when we take a second and just breathe, then our brain gets the oxygen it needs and we're able to think clearly. Two, meditation and prayer. You're gonna find that I talk about this a lot throughout a lot of different things I do, whether it's in my book, whether it's in my counseling, whether it's in coaching, no matter where, I am always gonna talk about meditation and prayer because there's something about believing in something bigger than you are or just taking a moment to be still. Number three, chocolate. I love chocolate. I, if I'm in a bad mood, chocolate. Love it, love it, love it, love it. But then I had to have a debate with myself because you get on that high and then you crash and it's because of the sugar. So number three is really take out the sugar. See, sugar is said to be the culprit for a number of negative things that happens to our bodies. So it, it stops your immune system. When you consume sugar, you gain weight. Your brain doesn't function optimally. When you take sugar out of your diet, okay, for the first few days, you might be in a bit of a bad mood, but let me tell you, the effects of not having sugar in your diet, you're going to feel amazing afterwards. Take sugar out of your diet. Number four, smile and laugh on purpose. If you smile, on purpose or laugh on purpose, you are gonna feel good. Here's what happens. Your brain, when you're happy, it triggers the muscles in your face to smile. So just the reverse happens as well. When you force yourself to smile, it triggers those endorphins in your brain to make you feel happy. Number five, find a recording of a baby laughing and listen to it over and over again. Who can really resist the sound of a baby laughing. It puts me in a good mood every time. Number six. Sometimes to make us feel better, we just got to have a good cry. There is nothing wrong with crying. It doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter if you're a male or a female. Crying just releases a lot of the pent up emotions that we're feeling. Number seven, counseling and coaching. You know, sometimes we need that third party, that neutral person to just hear us, to just hear what we have to say, to offer some advice and they're not, not biased. Number eight, the ride or die friend. Now, these people are hard to come by because they're people that are gonna stick by you forever, no matter what, the ride or die friend. We all have them. You call them up, they make you laugh, they make you forget what you were upset about. Number nine, watch a comedy. Get a whole bunch of comedies, put them in and just watch them and laugh and laugh and laugh. Because remember, when you laugh, your brain triggers those endorphins which make you feel happy. Number 10, positive affirmations. Because you listen to yourself all the time. You're talking to yourself all the time. Make sure you're telling yourself positive things. Tell yourself how great you are. You have unique gifts that only you can bring to this world. And then you'll start to believe it. Even if you don't at first, you will eventually. These are the top 10 mood boosters, according to me. Make sure to like, make sure to share, and make sure to comment below, because we wanna know what some of your mood boosters are. Someone's gonna see it, someone's gonna read it, someone's gonna need to see it. So make sure to comment below. Till next time. Bye.